Have you ever wondered why the Astro Toilet we saw in Part 1 of Episode 70 and the Astro Toilet that was on the letter in Part 2 have different numbers of stripes on their helmet? No? Hmm. What if I told you that every scientist shown in the poster we've already seen in past episodes? In fact, I'll tell you who that sword on the wall actually belongs to. And that's just part of what I'll be sorting out for you today. The thing is, it turns out that there were hidden details in both parts of episode 70 that I didn't even realize at the initial parsing. What is not less important, we will find out when part 3 of episode 70 will be released, and traditionally, I will tell you my opinion about what might be there. So, my friends, it is very important to watch this video from the beginning to the end without rewinding, because if you miss one theory, you will hardly understand the meaning of the next one. And, by tradition, right now put a like, because if we get 50 likes, I'll make another video for you right away. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, because I'll remind you of the statistics. More than half of the viewers watch my videos without subscribing. And now let's start our breakdown right away. First, I would like to start with a simple one, namely this sword. As you remember last time, I assumed that this sword used to belong to the infected Titan Speakerman, but he didn't use it for fighting as he had enough and a gun on his hands. However, after revisiting episode 69, I noticed one of the Speakermen holding the same sword with the same red line. But there is one small detail. You probably already noticed that the sword, which is in the base Skibidi toilet, it is 20 or even 30 times larger. This sword could only be used by titans or other huge creatures. Again, I already said that the red line immediately refers us to the race of Speaker Man. It is their signature color. But once in the hands of the Speaker Man Titan, we have not once seen this sword. Even in 47 episodes, he had another lighter color. And then, only recently, in 69 episode, we saw a small version of it just at some random speaker, there is an interesting theory. If this sword was not created by a scientist, as the same sword in miniature is in the speaker, it means that perhaps for Titan Speakerman is preparing a new improvement, 3.0, just where, among other things, he will be given a cool sword. However, somehow Skibidi Toilets found out about this project and managed to successfully steal the sword from the factory. This detail is basically not that important. So let's move on to a more interesting topic, namely to the topic, where is the scientist? Because in the description of part two, it was written that the agents are getting closer and closer to the scientist. So in part three, as we expected, Plunger and Dark Speaker will come face to face with this old grandfather. So, I forgot to mention to you in part two that there was a number two on the floor of the warehouse where the agents entered. This means that there are several such warehouses in the one they saw the scout in. It's only the second most important one, so there's also the first one and possibly zero. So basically, if already in the warehouse number two there are apparently important documents, posters with people, and even books of TV men. This means that at least the scientist is often in these very warehouses, and probably there, and comes up with his ingenious technologies, and to be more precise, steals them from the book of TV men, but about this another time. Even taking into account that the plunger doesn't have a tablet with the lab's cameras, as it was safely broken after the fall of the red cameraman, I think they will be able to find the most secret and main warehouse where, apparently, the scientist is at the moment. And if we remember the additional footage where we were shown two guards and a pretty good defense, getting there will not be easy. And now the most interesting and mysterious part of the video, we are talking about the Astro Toilet, which has a different number of stripes. And of course, the scientists from the poster. Corrected text. Few people know. But we have seen almost all of the scientists from this poster with Defuck before. Here, for example, the very first one was shown to us already in episode 16. As you can see, he also has glasses. And he has almost no hair. The one in the middle and shaking hands, well, looks a lot like the very first toilet ski beady from episode 1. There's also a scientist to the right of Defuck who was featured in the same 16 episode. The similarities are spot on. Beside them, 
I found another one. Remember in episode 69, here is this crazy guy who almost killed the plunger, so he looks like the other one, and his hair fell down because of his age. Don't forget that this picture was taken 45 years ago. Well, okay, seriously, this is probably an improved version of the same ski beady toilet from episode 16. However, let's not forget the skeleton in the robe from episode 69. It's also one of those scientists, most likely. But most interestingly, in my opinion, the ski biddy scientist himself is also on this poster. And he's just aged a lot for some reason, so we don't recognize him here. We can also think back to episode 68 with the moment where there were these ski beady toilets with mechanical arms and even phones. I think they were also scientists or budding specialists, basically someone on staff. To summarize, I'm sure with a good search you can find almost anyone, which means that the only character from this poster who managed to escape and not turn into a toilet is Da Fook. However, in any case, as you noticed, I couldn't find the last person in any way. If you know which episode he appeared in, post it in the comments. But at the moment, my observations are that this character is probably still alive and hiding somewhere in the lab. Apparently, he's a friend of Dafuk Booms since they worked together for a while. So it's likely that somewhere in future episodes we'll see him being rescued by Dafuk Boom to finally be safe and free. What's equally interesting is the famous letter. And as I started to think more deeply about it, I realized there was one inconsistency. And it all started when I noticed the Astro Toilet Helmet. Come to think of it, it turns out that he has five stripes on his helmet, and here we can clearly see that he has three. This means that this treaty was made at least before episode 67, and possibly even earlier. My guess is that this pact happened after episode 60, when the astronauts relayed the situation with the scientist to the chief. And after that, they don't get along with the ski bitty toilets anymore. And as for the stripes themselves, it seems to me that these stripes are a kind of epaulets, you know, like soldiers. That is, the more stripes you have, the higher in rank you are. And according to the treaty, five stripes is the highest rank, something like a president. That's why it's his face that we see in the treaty. But now, judging by the fact that he has two less stripes, I think there are at least one or even two more astro toilets above him at this point. However, write in the comments your opinion. What do you think? It's just he changed his helmet. Or still the number of stripes means something. As for the three-part 70 episode, in my opinion it will be released on February 7. Because on February 7, the very first episode of Ski Beady Toilet came out, and I think it would be an interesting reference to the finale of the 70 episode to do just in this number. You can imagine the series will be one year old very soon. In honor of this, I suggest you to gain 50 likes under this video if you would like the series to not end. And for today, this is all friends. I advise you to watch other clips that you see on the screen. Goodbye and good luck, friends.